I am driven by this desire to bring a winner here to Charlotte. Where is the focus? Where are we trying to get to and start laying the building blocks down for that? We knew it was time to change the whole model, the whole concept. We had to start with the coaching search. Finish it, finish it. Your game, your game, post up. We can do a lot better than what we did last year and we're gonna do it through hard work. It seems like every draft day is busy in its own way. What will the Bobcats do tonight? What should they do? Did you guys make that trade? Not yet. We are very eager to be successful. I know we can get there. I'm gonna get there. Driven, tougher, faster, stronger. The 2012 Bobcats Draft. Presented by Cadillac. We didn't have a very good season. I thought that uh, the off season would be a great time for us to regroup. Obviously, the season was what it was. And then kind of going forward, um, we knew we had to make a lot of changes. I think everybody understands the new beginning, the new opportunity, the clean slate. You know, go in, let's earn it, let's, you know, let's build something here. And I think the fans start to see that, they're going to appreciate it, you know, as opposed to, you know, they can feel like they're a part of it. You know, they're investing in it. We're asking them to, to invest in it, so we have to invest back, you know, in putting out the talent and the effort that people can feel proud about. The NBA Draft Lottery was the offseason's first milestone day and a chance for the Bobcats to include their most loyal supporters in the process. The team's lucky fan contest gave the winner a chance to go to New York for a VIP experience with Charlotte General Manager Rich Cho and Vice Chairman Curtis Polk on Lottery Day. Congratulations. Thanks. Yeah, it's still uh, a little hard to believe. <laughs> so, it took a few days for it to set in. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So. Well, hopefully you'll bring us some good luck. I'm hoping. <laughs> that'd, be, that'd be awesome. I'm an avid tweeter, so follow the Bobcats handle on Twitter, at Bobcats, and uh, just saw the contest pop up and figured I'll give it a shot. Uh, so what's next for you guys after this? Just workouts and stuff? Yeah, we got um, Chicago pre-draft camp okay. next week. They had a nice lunch at Del Frisco's and uh, had a great day. They went and sat in the audience and, uh, at the lottery, uh, they got to experience it up close and personal. That day uh, in New York was one piece of it, but, but Michael was adamant about wanting to host uh, an event here at, at our arena for our fans. He wanted to be amongst our fans as, as we saw what our fate would be on uh, lottery night. What a great night tonight is. Obviously having the opportunity to share this event with our fans and our, you know, our, our support group, basically. It's been one of those things, it's been a long season for us, but tonight it's all about celebration. Tonight is all about positivity. It's all about you know, taking that first step to something positive and something good down the road. How's everybody doing tonight? Everybody feel lucky tonight? We need some lucky people in the house. I'm Steve Martin and he's... Bill Curry. All right. All right. It's a great event though. Uh, this is good. Yeah, good, right? Yeah. You know, everybody I'm talking to, they're having a good time. As the party rolled on in Charlotte, back in New York, Rich Cho and the other NBA team executives were preparing for the NBA draft lottery to begin. Hi, Commissioner. Please. You know, on one hand, I'm nervous because uh, I know it can, it's a franchise, can be a franchise-changing event. Uh, on the other hand, I'm not nervous because I can't do anything about it. And the time has come. Here's NBA Deputy Commissioner Adam Silver to reveal the final order of the 2012 NBA Draft. The 14th pick goes to the Houston Rockets. Pick number six belongs to 
the Brooklyn Nets. Here we go. And the fourth pick in the 2012 NBA draft goes to the Cleveland Cavaliers. But that means somebody New Orleans moved up. Yeah, New Orleans. The third pick in this year's draft goes to the Washington Wizards. The second pick will be made by the Charlotte Bobcats. And that means the number one pick in the 2012 NBA draft goes to the New Orleans Hornets. Oh, now I gotta go to work. We got close, got number two. It's still a very important building block for this franchise and the president of basketball operations for the Charlotte Bobcats, Rod Higgins. Now your job really starts to swing into full sway. Yeah, there's no question the job is always going to be there. But first and foremost, I want to say thank you to everybody that came here to celebrate, and it is a celebration, to be involved with this night, this special night. Now the work is going to continue. From a competitive standpoint, you uh, you know everybody wants the number one pick, but uh, you know we got number two, and uh, we're going to get a good player at number two. We have talked internally for quite some time about who number two is, and now we will get to that point who number two is. There's probably you know five, six guys that five, six, seven guys you can make an argument for the number two pick. So, but we're going to go through the process, narrow it down, and then come up with a final decision. And you got opportunities, you got scenarios, you got, I'm sure, te other teams that are going to call us on number two. Those are the realities of having a high draft pick. It's nice to get it over with. Now we know where we're going to pick, and, and uh, we can start the process of uh, narrowing down the selection. We can get a very valuable player at number two that will help this young nucleus and at the end of the day, that's, uh, that's what we're trying to do. We're trying to improve this team. We now return to Driven. Tougher, faster, stronger. The 2012 Bobcats Draft, presented by Cadillac. Chicago um, at the um, pre-draft camp. What we decided to do, Rich and I, was to bring our scouts into town for pre-draft uh, final rankings. Now that we know where we're going to pick, we got the number two pick in the draft. Um, it's time to circle back and uh, define a focus group for the number two pick, a group of players that we're going to narrow down, and then uh, that's going to be our focus group for number two. We're also going to define a focus group for pick 31. We've seen all these guys this year, but let's start narrowing it down to a group of, say, five, six, seven guys. And then from there, we'll go over our scout rankings that you guys did uh, last week. Also want to look at uh, a lot of different scenarios for what we're going to do with that pick. We can either keep the pick, which I, I think we'll get a really good player, we can move back for uh, a couple picks, either a two picks this year or a pick this year and a future pick. Uh, we can move back for a player and a pick or we can move back for players. So um, we'll have a lot of different options uh, as it gets closer to the draft. The interview schedule just came out late last night for the pre-draft camp, so we're going to interview 18 guys here. Uh, tomorrow night and Thursday. As the Bobcats finalized their plans for the pre-draft camp, prospects began streaming into Chicago, anxious and eager to make an impression. 
Well, it's a lot of anticipation. You know, we've been working for this day our whole life, and uh, you know, just get out there and just show the teams what we can do, and you know, it'll be, it'll be great. It's a real excited because that's what we've been working on our whole life for to have our dream come true. It's very exciting. You know, it's always been a big dream of mine to play in the NBA. So now I finally get my opportunity, and I'm very excited. The 65 guys come together, do a little skill stuff, um, medical stuff, and then the agility stuff on the court, and then just do team team interviews so they can get a feel for who they're trying to draft. And uh, you know, the Bobcats is a good team. The 31st pick is wide open. You know, it's a great great time to show what you can do, and uh, you know, catch the attention of the team. Up next on Driven, top prospects descend on Charlotte to work out in front of the Bobcats executives. I mean, it went good. We got a lot of shots up today, so I just had fun. And later, the 2012 NBA draft gets underway, and the Bobcats hold the night's most talked about pick. All the talk and the predictions and all the mock drafts, all that stuff comes to an end tonight. What will the Bobcats do tonight? What should they do? Welcome back to Driven. Tougher, faster, stronger. The 2012 Bobcats Draft, presented by Cadillac. The pre-draft camp in Chicago is uh, another way to just get another facet of, of um, information. And then, uh, and then you bring it back to uh, Charlotte, bring guys in for uh, pre-draft workouts. get another chance to scout the guy, get some more intel on, on a player, and obviously see that player go through the drills that you specify, see them work with your coaching staff, uh, see them in a competitive environment always in your building. From June 18th through the 22nd, the Bobcats had Bradley Beal, Michael Kidd Gilchrist, Harrison Barnes, Thomas Robinson, and Andre Drummond in for workouts, each vying to be tabbed by Charlotte as the number two pick. I mean, it went good. We got a lot of shots up today, so I just had fun. Overall, I think I did a pretty good job. Everybody had drills where you just come off screens or something like that, and just showing what you would do in certain situations. I think the biggest thing is just I'm trying to improve my game, all around game, um, especially putting it on the floor because that's, that's my biggest knock. So definitely trying to show teams that I've been working on that, you know, putting it on the floor, getting to the basket, also be able to find guys, which I'll be able to demonstrate three on three. You know, I think I'll fit in perfect. You know, like I said, uh, the up tempo game fits me perfect. You know, uh, and I also can play in the half court, you know, coming from Kansas and, and me being as athletic as I am, you know, I could be able to run with Kimba and get out. I run the floor real hard. I defend and I not block shots and grab rebounds. And that's uh, one of my one of my strong suits right now. I mean, wherever I may land, I'm gonna be happy regardless, and I'm just gonna try to make an impact as best as I can. I mean, there's a lot of teams that are interested, but I mean, anywhere from two through eight, two through ten, you know, I mean, it's all legit possibility. The potential, you know, I got a young point guard. You now I love to play with him. And, uh, you know, also a bunch of young players around him surrounding me. And you know, I think it's just a couple more players to get over that hump, and I'd love to be one of those players. We got a chance to see those players that we had honed in uh, for the number two pick. At the end of each day's workouts, Rod Higgins, Rich Cho, and the Bobcat scouting staff assembled for a breakdown of what they saw on the court. What do you, what do you guys think about the workout today? Uh, what, what, what do you think, Scotty? I thought uh, Thomas Robbins was really good. Competed. A little more versatile than I thought. Shot it better than I had ever seen him shoot. I thought he, I thought he was good. I think Drummond is going to be a, a, a very good player in this league, um, but it's going to take some time. You know, he's only 18, uh, but you know that body and athleticism you can't teach. But it, it's going to take him some time. I, I kind of see it, it's going to be hard to play him and Bismarck together. 